This is Ground Affected. My name is your dad, and I'm going to the salute convention with a flamethrower because they said I shouldn't. <laughs> Where do we go in? Hello. Um, uh, uh, there you go. <laughs> we found a spot? Let's go. Oh god. Maybe we should have got coffee first? Instead of getting coffee, we decided to quickly check if there was still time to enter my Land Raider into the painting competition. That entries are all closed already. Or is there a way to sneak something in? No, I mean the uh, entry for the painting competition. Oh, the painting competition? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. You have to ask them. Okay. Ask them. okay. Not much info at the info table. I understand that the closing was 12. Is there a way to still squeeze one in? But because of the traffic, we were just too late to make it in time for the competition. And unfortunately, I was not able to enter my Land Raider into the painting competition. But mine could have been sitting there with its lights on. What if we just go get off in heaven when I was looking? <laughs> and they'll be confused. Well, you know what they say, the early bird catches the worm. And with that in mind, it was time to get coffee and make our way around the convention. It's England, but this big. You are maybe possibly looking for something that I can stock in my shop. Maybe. If anything fancies my tickle, I will tickle its fancy. That is a true original of the Warhammer. What did you buy? I went up with four dice. I got cheap five. Four dice. Four dice. That's too much effort to play a game. What happens when you paint your model and you drop it before you've let the paint drop? <laughs> <laughs> That's painted well. Look at the blends on the back of the pig. Get, get these. this part we were only probably about a quarter of the way through the convention and there were still so many 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 more things to see there was a lot of models that I liked and a lot of models that were painted and a lot of things that you could purchase but one of the things that you don't really get on the camera is just the scale of everything there is just so much stuff to see honestly it's actually impossible to see everything we try to record as much as we could throughout this whole day and really we probably missed 
half of it maybe even more to be honest but I'm gonna keep showing you all these images and all the things that we saw during our time at Salute and hopefully you get to enjoy it if you didn't get to go to it yourself These kinds of conventions are really good for small businesses and uh, people who are trying to show off the things that they make that you might never see because they're so small and obscure that they get hidden behind the massive wall of the internet and social media. Sometimes you'll never be able to see all these things on social media just because there is so much coming in all at the same time that a lot of things overshadow some of the smaller things. Believe me as a content creator, I know exactly how this is. Sometimes you just get overshadowed by something a lot more simpler or just larger in general and these kind of conventions really help smaller people to be seen by the people who enjoy the hobby and uh, also maybe help you as the hobbyist find things you never thought you would ever find in your life. Something? For me, this convention as a content creator and as a shop owner was a little bit different this time around because I went in with a different mindset. I was looking for things that I could put in my shop and sell to hobbyists down the road. I'm always trying to make sure that people are able to afford the hobby as well as somehow be able to cover some of my overheads. But in general, looking around this place, I was able to find a couple of good deals that I was able to pass on to my own customers in my own store as well. Yeah, yeah, it's possible to get wheels on the bottom. <laughs> As I've already said, there is so many things to see. It's just so great to see so many different aspects to one hobby just underneath one roof. There is literally so many different avenues that you can take in this kind of hobby that is just beyond ridiculous at this point. It has literally never been any more easier to get into the hobby than it is right now. Look at this. And then it was time for me to take out the big guns and show them that there is a whole nother avenue to this hobby that they didn't even think about under this roof. They have all these things, but not this aspect. And that is where I come into play. I brought my flamethrowing tank into a convention. No, I didn't shoot fire everywhere because that would be probably illegal. But I still brought my flamethrower into the convention even though they told me not to. And I drove it on the floor as well. You'll see that. And uh... Hopefully you enjoy this uh, part of the video. Before we went to the convention, I messaged the convention and asked them if it would be okay to drive my tank on uh, around the convention and they said, no, don't do that uh, and if you did it was at your own risk and this is me just being a complete rebel, man don't care about all that and I ripped the tank as hard as you can possibly rip this really slow tank across every surface in the entire convention that I was possibly even allowed to.
Now a very professional YouTuber would probably have a really good outro to this video and uh, that is not me. So I'm just going to leave you with if you didn't like anything you saw in this video then I don't really care and this is your chance to kindly f*** off.